guys, it's Emma. So thanks for coming back to this video. This is going to be what's on my iPad Pro 5th generation 12.9 inch. It's the brand new one, just came out. I just got it a few weeks ago and I love it. I am so obsessed with this iPad. It is amazing. All right, so this is my iPad. Like I said, this is the 12.9 inch, the brand new iPad Pro. It is in the space gray color, and I have a glass screen protector on it and on the camera. I can, I'll link all the products that I have for my iPad below so you can buy them too, because I was looking for videos and products about this and it's so hard to find because it's so new. Okay, I do wanna to touch on this really quick. I am visually impaired if you haven't seen my videos before. My acuity is 2080 corrected. So I wanted to splurge for the bigger iPad so that I, because I'm using it for school, I'm going to college next year. So I got this for school instead of a laptop, which I know is a little controversial, but I think it's gonna work out better for me in the long run. But it is helping me a lot with my vision. And I do definitely recommend this one if you're thinking, because I was looking between the 11 and the 12.9 inch, and I definitely like this one. I'm really glad that I got the bigger one. Um, but I'm thinking about doing a whole separate video on how I use my iPad for my visual impairment. So if that's something you'd like to see, tell me in the comments below. So before I get into what's on my iPad, I want to show you the accessories I have. I got the Magic Keyboard. Since I am using it basically as a laptop, I decided to get the Magic Keyboard instead of the Smart Keyboard. The Magic Keyboard has a trackpad and the Smart Keyboard doesn't. It's basically, the Smart Keyboard is just a piece of um, like woven thick fabric almost. Uh, it's not really fabric, but it's just one keyboard. It doesn't have a trackpad or anything. This is more like a MacBook. The keys are backlit. Obviously my iPad's not on it right now, so you can't see that, but um, it's really nice and clicky. It's got a touch trackpad, like I said, and it's great. Oh, and on the side, it has a plug so you can charge your iPad which I thought was pretty cool. I actually originally bought the smart keyboard and I returned it because I was sad that I didn't get this one. And to use the keyboard, all you do is stick your iPad up there and it just magnets on. So it's super easy to use. And then you can see it's backlit. You can kind of see. But yeah, and so you can just use it like a laptop, which I really like. The one downside to the smart keyboard is that it doesn't ever fold so your iPad can lay flat. It is all, it only holds it up, like I just showed you. So I wanted to get a case for it so that I could have it lay flat because I wanna use my iPad mostly for taking notes on notability. So that was a feature I definitely needed and to like watch videos or whatever. So I decided to get a case. This is the spec case. It's kind of like a bluish greeny color. It looks a little gray, but it's like kind of blue. And I like this one because it's got this little flat for the camera, which, okay, they could have just cut out a camera hole, but this protects your camera and it magnets. It's, it's really nice. It was like 50 or $60, which is kind of a lot, but I figured I should splurge because the iPad was also a lot. But yeah, it just has a couple different ways you can hold your iPad up and your iPad just kind of clicks in there. This is hard plastic and then all of this is soft. And my last little accessory I have for my iPad is my Apple Pencil. So I just have this little pink case on it. This is the Apple Pencil 2, by the way. It's the only one that works with this iPad. I just got this little silicone case, honestly, because I thought it was cute, but I kind of like how it feels. And the tip is detachable, but you can actually write with this. And I honestly kind of like that a little bit better because it gives it more um, like friction. So it doesn't just slip around like it normally would and it's got little lines around it. The only thing I don't love about the new Apple Pencil is this flat side so that it just magnets on to the iPad. See, And then it charges. But I don't know, that kind of bothers me. I'm not really one for like grips and stuff on pencils, but it's not a big deal. It's kind of nice for your thumb to rest on while you're writing. All right, let's get into what's on my iPad. So. You can see my home screen, super normal. I didn't really change much about it, but my background is cheetah, pink cheetah. I got that picture from Pinterest. I love pink cheetah. And my next page, I on the iPad, I didn't know this, but you can't do widgets like you can on your iPhone. So that's why it's really plain, but I heard with iOS 15, you're gonna be able to do that. So I definitely wanna do that. But I have everything divided into folders. You can kind of see, you know, shopping and socials and, 
watching i don't know i'm not very creative with the titles but in games i love games well those two roblox and minecraft are my favorite games then i've got all my school game not games my school stuff i'll probably have to download more things as i keep going this is just kind of what i know i need and then i've got all my random stuff i have widget apps i know that's kind of weird that i have that and i don't have widgets but soon i will have widgets hopefully that's the goal at least and my youtube folder yeah it's kind of just random stuff stuff that i need stuff that i like you know how it is it my apps for my phone transferred to my ipad which i didn't really want but it happened and it's fine all right guys thank you so much for watching my videos i know it was a little short i like to try and keep my videos pretty short so because i get bored with long videos but if you want a more in-depth of anything in this video or anything else really just tell me in the comments and i will make that video for you all right guys have a good day i'll see you later